Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Playmobil Ghostbusters Firehouse playset. That's right, this is the largest set in the brand new Playmobil Ghostbusters lineup, and the one set that I specifically have been very excited to check out. So let's do it, let's dive right in and take a look. As you can see, it comes in large scale box packaging. I love the packaging on the Playmobil Ghostbusters line. It's bright and colorful, featuring the blues and the greens in the background, the Ghostbusters logo going down the side, and then we just have these beautiful photographs of the playset and all of the included figures right there on the front of the box. Rotating that around to the backside, we even get a really cool scene showing basically all of the Playmobil Ghostbuster sets together with a really happy kid playing with it. That's that's my spirit animal right there. That's how I feel with all of these new Playmobil Ghostbuster sets because they're so much fun. So this set is huge, which means it's gonna be the biggest build for you. It is 228 pieces, which is quite a few pieces. They're gonna be in several bags when you open this up. Um, the side walls and everything of the firehouse are gonna be solid pieces that you put together. And the instructions are very straightforward. So it's a pretty easy build actually. Um, there are some stickers in there that you'll have to attach uh, both to the firehouse itself as well as some of the accessories. And it's a bit of a challenge putting the entire thing together. Um, some of it's kind of hard actually. Specifically, I really disliked putting the stairs together. Those stairs were hurting my fingers getting it all locked together, but I got it done. The whole thing took me, I would say maybe about an hour, but that was just kind of casually putting it together. So it depends on your speed. Uh, it's definitely one of the more complicated builds in this particular line. But when you get it all done, this right here is what we end up with. And this thing, let me tell you, is an awesome playset. First of all, how cool does that look? It's kind of like a facade. So basically, the front and one of the sides is a perfect representation of the outside of the firehouse. And then when we flip it around, we've got this whole open up part so that we can play inside the firehouse as well. I love the overall design of this, but I love the look because they did an amazing job of capturing the look of the actual Ghostbusters firehouse. Something that we've not really had in a playset form like this before. Because the only other time we've really gotten a big playset of the firehouse was the old Kenner Real Ghostbusters line. And this one, looks much more like the actual Ghostbusters Firehouse from the films. I think that's pretty cool. So let's talk about the size real quick. If I bring in the tape measure here, you can see that this thing stands right at 18 inches tall. So it is a pretty massive playset and it's just very cool. I just love that. It. It's so neat. So talking about the outside here, we got the cool brick look to it. All the way around on the outside, you can see the Ghostbuster sign hanging over the door. And then we do have a great garage door that actually folds open just like the garage door would. It's pretty cool. And what's really great about this, if you've got the awesome Ghostbusters Ecto-1, look, you can actually drive that up into the firehouse. And then if I rotate that around, boom, there it is right there on the inside. So, and I can even get it all the way in and I can close the garage door if I want to do that. Pretty sweet stuff. And they even have it kind of, uh, they got a little ramp here, so you know you can just kind of drive it back out the other side. Ah, I drove through the back of the building! No, it's, <laughs> it's kind of fun, I love it. I just love that we've got the option to do that. So, there's lots of stuff going on on the inside of this thing, and it's gonna be pretty cool. First things first, let's talk about the action figures, because there's actually several figures that are included with this set. We get Ray Stance in his Ghostbusters outfit. We get Janine, because of course we got Janine with the firehouse in her standard outfit, you know, so she can call for the Ghostbusters, let them know when we got one! We got Egon in his lab coat. We got Lewis. Uh, possessed by one of the terror dogs there. So you can see we got some, we got the little uh, silly helmet on there as Egon's running some tests on him. And check it out, the library ghost. And I love the look of the library ghost. She's done it like this pink and purple translucent plastic. And it's a very, very cool look. So the figures themselves are all done in that Playmobil style. Um, they're scaled in three inches in height and they look just like all of the other Playmobil figures. And if we've already taken a look at any of the other sets, if you've already seen any of my other videos on these, you know what to expect, but they are cool. They're a lot of fun. And it's awesome that we get five figures with this particular set. But that is not all. There are a ton of accessories in here. So let's just go floor by floor. 
and talk about the stuff we've got on the inside. Let's start down here on the bottom. And it might be kind of hard to see because we got this little kind of pillar here in the way, but the containment unit is right here on this back wall. And what's so cool about the containment unit is you can actually, you can see we got the little lever right here. So, you know, Walter Peck, I guess, can come in and shut it down if he wants to. <laughs> but we can also open up the door and check that out. There's actually a spot on there where we can plug the ghost traps in there so that we can go ahead and dump some ghosts into the containment unit. I thought that was a really, really cool little effect. Very cool stuff. So then, of course, the rest of the area down here is meant for the Ecto-1. It's kind of like a garage area. So let's come up here to the second floor. Now, the second floor is Egon's lab. And there are so many cool accessories on the inside here. Uh, just check out some of this cool stuff. And I'm going to kind of try to reach around and grab some of this here so I can show you guys a little bit closer. You got all these cool little scientific machines and contraptions for Egon to do some tests. Uh, you know, you got the little meter here with the little graphs printing out of the side. Uh, check it out. You've got the little like kind of sonogram machine, you know, back there. So we can stand kind of uh, Lewis kind of back over here. And uh, you can see on the screen, uh, it, it looks like there's, you can see the terror dog on the inside of him, just like from the film. Pretty cool stuff. Um, if you look at the bookcase along the back wall here, there's all kinds of fun stuff going on. You can see there's a little canister of slime in there. And let me, uh, let me reach in here real quick because I got to grab some of these little things. Some of the tiniest accessories are the things that really, really blow me away. There is a little bitty Tobin's Spirit Guide book in here. How awesome is that? What a great attention to detail. I cannot believe we got a little Spirit Guide book with this particular set. What a cool little accessory to be included in there. You can also see there's like test tubes, all kinds of fun stuff. We got beakers over here. Um, there is a little microscope. We've got a little camera on a tripod, which is kind of fun. Um, so there is so many cool little accessories in here. And of course, Egon also has his PKE meter in his hand so he can run all of his tests on Lewis to figure out what is going on. Really, really fun stuff. Uh, oh, and I, I almost forgot, you can't forget this, pizza! We got pizza in here! <laughs> I love this because you can actually open up the box and there's a little pizza on the inside. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, there is also a large a, uh, bowl over here. Um, which is on the bottom of the shelf, which I believe would be like the popcorn bowl, you know? Yes, have some right there out of that bowl. I love the accessories. The accessories are seriously one of the things that make this playset so incredibly cool. So if we come up to the top floor, this is kind of where they've got Janine's office station. Uh, and keep in mind, you could set this up however you want to. All of the accessories, I mean, they're just like little furniture pieces. I can move these anywhere. So if I wanted to put this stuff on the second floor or the bottom floor, I can put them wherever I want to. This is just how I've got everything set up. But if you look at these accessories, I mean, just the details on the little desk here, it's incredible. And the uh, same with the little desk over here, all the drawers open up on these. I mean, it's amazing what's going on here. So this particular desk, look at that. We got an old eighties uh, computer, giant monitor, big keyboard. Uh, I love that we've got like a map on the screen screen there like we're um, trying to figure out where some ghost activity is where the Ghostbusters need to head we got a phone over here the phone is just all of these accessories are great um look at this phone so it's big giant phone you got the buttons over there you can actually take the uh, the phone off the receiver there so that way if you need Janine uh, you know holding on to the phone taking a phone call we got to do that, right? Ghostbusters, what do you want? There you go. Perfect, right? I love it. So we got the phone in here, which is a great accessory. Um, get that back up here. We get Janine up here. And then look at this. There's even a newspaper. Uh, it's Playmobil today. But I love that we got all these little stickers on there. You can see there's pictures of the Ghostbusters on the front, and it's the Playmobil Ghostbusters. The inside's got an image of Slimer on there. Um, and you can actually get the figures to hold onto that in their hands, which is really, really fun. And then you can't have the firehouse without the pole, right? We've got the pole right here on the front. And what's really cool about that is you can clip the figure's hands onto the pole Ah, that was a crazy slide, but he totally slid down the pole. <laughs> Here, let me see if we can, uh, we can, you can clip, it's got a handle on both sides, so maybe that'll work a little bit better. There we go. So we got Ray there. He stayed on that time, but it's kind of just a fun way 
to get them to slide down the pole. It's a cool little feature on there as well. So you can see that there is a lot going on here. There are so, so many cool pieces. And uh, oh, I totally forgot about this. If you saw my review of the Ecto-1, uh, you might be familiar with this. But just like that, this set also came with all these little kind of rubbery slime pieces. And this is just so that you can like, they, they kind of cling really well. So you can just kind of stick these anywhere you want to and basically just make it look like some ghosts put slime all over the place. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Here I've got the new Playmobil Firehouse standing alongside the old Firehouse playset from Kenner's real Ghostbusters toy line. That way you can kind of get an idea of what these two both look like side by side. The new one is a little bit shorter, uh, but not by too much. And of course the design is much more movie based than this one was, but same kind of premise, you know, like you've got the opened up section here, just like we've got the opened up section here. So it's kind of cool seeing these two standing side by side. So one more thing I wanted to kind of compare for you guys is I want to bring in one of the Kenner Real Ghostbusters figures and stand him here with the firehouse. Because I know that uh, when this was first released, I always kind of wondered if this would look good posed with my other Ghostbusters action figures. So I wanted to bring him in here. You can see that these guys are way taller than the Playmobil figures. So he does kind of tower over them and looks way too tall with the new firehouse. I mean, he almost hits his head on the Ghostbusters sign. He's taller than the garage door in the front. So it might look good like up on a shelf with your real Ghostbusters figures with it if you want to display it that way. Um, might work okay with like mini mates if you've got some of the mini mates. Unfortunately I don't have any of those. Um, but it definitely is going to be a bit too uh, small overall to scale with the real Ghostbusters figures. But I still wanted to bring that in there. It's a really fun set and if you start building out your Playmobil Ghostbusters collection like with the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man or with the uh, Ecto-1, all of the other cool figures that we've got here, I mean this really makes for a great display and it's got a lot of great play features. I think that's what's really great about it. This is a full on play set, lots of accessories, uh, you know, just some amazing pieces, lots of figures and great play value. I love this thing. So this particular set is retailing for around $89.99. Totally worth that price if you ask me. That's actually pretty cheap, I thought, by today's standards for something like this. In fact, the entire Playmobil Ghostbusters lineup, you could get every Ghostbusters set for less than $200 retail. I thought that was pretty good overall. So I'm really enjoying these. I think they are a lot of fun. These are starting to hit store shelves right now. You can find them in places like Toys R Us. I actually picked mine up from Amazon. So happy hunting, my friends. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.